So depending on the type of product, I take my pictures different ways. Okay, I'm gonna choose the biggest pepper roll box because it's gonna be the easiest to take a selfie with. And I could use it to cover my face to make it look smaller. So I chose apple milkus and peach milkus because they're my favorite flavor. And I personally really, really like drinking Korean sodas. Okay, so usually like I like my photos with like a lot of stuff in it. So then I'm just gonna take all of it. Wait, how are we gonna do this? I have chosen the Oreo pepperos. Let's get started. I have a system here. A little higher up. Ah, help. This one, this one. <laughs> I have like this 45 degree angle. Um, I look completely different on my left side and my right side, so I always take pictures from the right side of my face. If you guys know, I don't like having my face <laughs> with the product. And then I try other angles and kind of to see what looks better. This one's cute. Oh, that's pretty cute. All right. Can you tuck my hair back? Yep. Your hair is tucked back. Oh, sh And when I take selfies, I take at least like 50 and I choose the best one out of them. It takes me forever to get a good one. Um, so I usually take like five of these. No, she usually Okay, so I'm lying, so like 10 of these. Zero, yeah. Okay, so I have chosen the perfect picture. Ta-da! Well, it will be perfect after I edit it, but um. I'm gonna go to my favorite app. It's called Saimera. It's a Korean app. There is like one main thing that I use on here. I go to Beauty and then Liquidify. And this could give you um, a smaller face. Like you can make yourself look skinnier. You could do it on your face, your body, whatever you wish. And the lightness, it's kind of like dark because it's focused on the background. So I'm gonna go in and start using um, Visco Cam. We're gonna pull this on Visco Cam. There's a bunch of really pretty filters, and you could up the brightness, contrast. My go-to app is Visco. There's a bunch of filters you can choose from. I just go through them and then see which one I like. I actually like the ones that have more of the blue shade in the pictures. So, like this, F2. The first one I will go to is called Facetune. There's a button here called Whiten. So I don't really like the blue background. Uh, what I like to do is I whiten it. So I just go like this. Oh my goodness, look at that. That's blue and that's white. That's blue and that's white. So I don't do too much because I don't want to look different on picture and in person too much because then they'll be like, who are you? Like, I can't tell who you are. Okay, you see? Well, that's a big difference, but oh well. My favorite filters, so probably like, well, I'm really giving away everything, huh? I want to do SE3. It makes everything really black. I'm going to put that to like a two. So it goes from this. And you can even go so far as to whitening the pepperon, because sometimes I do that. If my whites aren't white enough, I will white the whites. There. Okay, so look. You have unwhitened and whitened. Wow! Um, when you're done with that, I like to change the color. You go to auto level. And then you click either fine or solid. It makes you, it gives you like a more clear image. Like the pixels are more clear. You, you press save and there's a button called detail. Let's say the words here aren't clear enough. You do that. And I like to do it on my eyes too, actually. It's kind of hard to see, but there's a, there's a difference. It makes it more clear. It kind of sharpens everything. And my hair is looking a little orange. So we're going to bring this onto Snapseed. Snapseed is like where you full on just get in and change the colorings. Okay, and then the next app that I use is Snapseed. Let's see, where is Snapseed? Then you're gonna save it, and I'm gonna use a different app. It's called Photo Wonder. So this app, I mostly use it for blemishes and to make my face look really clear. So you could get rid of your acne or your redness, your dark circles. And I'm gonna take Selective. Go to my hair where it's a little bit more orange. Select it, and then desaturate. My jacket has this really bad orange glare on it, like a yellow glare from the lighting, so I'm gonna get rid of that too. Let's say I wanna highlight this box more. I go to brush, and I go to saturation. So for food and like stuff I wanna highlight, I will up the saturation. I usually like to do plus five saturation. So I will go here. 
and I will just highlight this box. Doesn't that look yummy? Then you're gonna click beauty and there's a function called blemish fix. So I tend to have dark circles so you just tap it along your dark circles and it's like magic, they disappear. I'm gonna use brush and desaturate my hair, the jacket, pretty much everything. Okay, and then you go to Visco. Depending on the photo, I use C9 or I use S3 or SE3. Let's see, that's too bright, that's too dark. All right, let's go with C9. Four by five is the biggest size that you can use for Instagram. So you can just do it here and I would just probably leave a little bit of headspace. So I would crop it like this. Push save. You have these three little dots, click that and then it says save to camera roll. And then actual size. And that's how I edit my pictures. And you're done. That's the final picture. There you have it, kids. <laughs> my God, it doesn't even look like me anymore. <laughs>